interested in your uh, theology. I yep. believe I've seen uh, uh, something in print, and I just want to hear your own real views, yes. uh, that uh, 40 years or so after the state of Israel is created, uh, Israel has to put its house in order uh, in order to meet the coming of the Messiah, something like that. I, I'm no theologian. Perhaps you could straighten that out. And uh, I think that time is up in about two years. Uh, would you explain what you expect to do in two years' time uh, for the coming of the Messiah? I believe that anyone who doesn't see that we are living in a very, very special era is not a person that has no faith, but is rather blind. The concept of, of 40 years is based upon a concept in the uh, Talmud that in both of the previous two Jewish states, and there were two previous Jewish states, there was never an Arab state. In the previous two Jewish states, in the first temple and the second temple, there was a grace period given of 40 years, a final, perhaps desperate hope on the part of uh, God that the Jews would come back and return to, to, the, uh, to a Jewish, Jewish law. I simply stated that it might be possible, it might be possible, that since certainly the state of Israel was not given to the Jews because of their merits, we certainly are, are not better Jews than our, than our uh, you know, grandparents' parents were, that perhaps there might be now to a grace period of 40 years given. This, is, this isn't something which is a fact. I, I, I simply threw that out as a possibility. Well, it's, it's not only a pious hope, because in Jewish law, the Messianic era can come in one of two ways. One, swiftly and beautifully, or first with prior awful tragedies. So I'm not so sure how it will come. And even my, I think that you're, that you're raising that question gives me an opportunity to point out that I'm not a politician. I'm a rabbi who's in politics. There's a great, great difference. And... Uh, I believe that if a Jew doesn't believe that there is a divine destiny, then I would say that logically there is no hope for Israel. Because in the end, certainly the Arabs will have nuclear weapons. And in the end, the Arabs will have far, far greater weapons than Israel. What I speak about is a practical Jew, and yet one who has faith in a divine destiny. That is Judaism. 